why bacteria, they can be dry for hundreds of years without water. They never die. When they got the correct, the right atmosphere for them, they grow again. They are alive. What you are saying is very stupid, sir. Secondly, secondly, is it your God who said that even the rocks pray to Allah? Now, is the rocks living by water? As an example, if we take a volcano rock, or as an example, if we take the rock which is stole the underwear of Moses, which was a Muslim rock, Guys, do you know the story about uh, the, the, the rock who stole the underwear of Moses? Who knows the story in here? Give me one. Okay, this is the story. And Abu Ayyub, he will explain it to you. Moses was accused by some Jewish that he is not something like, you know, there is something wrong with him. Private part, his skin, something like that. And Allah want to prove to those Jewish, those filthy Jewish, that Moses have a nice skin, and he is so beautiful if he is naked. So what he did? He made Moses go to the river to take a shower. Moses take off his clothes, totally naked, he put them in the rock, he jump in the water, taking a shower, la 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 la, he joined himself. Suddenly he turned his back, he saw the rock, a rock, real, real big rock, carried his clothes, and run away with them. Moses, he could not, he forgot himself, so he ran out of the water after the rock which was running. He was saying, stop the rock, stop the rock, she stole my clothes. And the Jewish surrounded the rock, and they stopped the rock, and right away all of them, they saw Moses naked, and this is showing them how sexy he was. All of them, they look at his balls, and they said, And this is a story according to Muhammad. And this is an explanation for the verse in the Quran. And I changed any Muslim to say it's a true. So even the rock in Islam is alive and she run. She walk. She's still close. And this is why, guys, I, I, I'm telling you, if you go to a picnic or somewhere, don't put your wallet there. Don't, because if it's a Muslim rock, you will be in trouble. I'm telling you. And you have to believe me. Muhammad don't lie. You're Michael, you're Michael. That's your point, that rocks are alive. Rocks are not alive, my friend. So how the rocks stole the... Close of Moses then. If the rock beat in the rock. He beat the rock. <laughs> Man, a lot of pain. If the rock is not alive for Muslims, how the rock steal the clothes are wrong? You're right. Well, Allah who made you alive, he can make the rock alive. But every rock not alive, my friend. Oh, that was a special rock. Okay, I get it. You know, you know, but this is not what the Quran says. The Quran says uh, that everyone who lives in the top of the earth and the moon and the sun, he worship Allah. And this will show us how stupid the one who wrote the Quran. Because who is the one who lives in the top of the sun? Your mind. have to understand that the things in the universe, they worship God willingly or unwillingly by their obedience to the rules that God put on them. That's how they worship. Yeah, all the universe, but it says in the verse, all who live on the sun, on the sun, who live on the sun according to science? Your mind. It's not the sun. Not the sun is worshipping Allah, no. It says whoever live in the top of the earth and the moon and the sun. Who live in the top of the moon and the sun? Never mind. Well, you tell me. Perhaps some jinn live in the sun. Allah will. Oh, there's genie. 
Philip on the sun. Genie, genie. He must be very hot. Genie, a genie on the sun. I'm a genie from the sun. Can we sign a contract with him to to, to heat my house in the, in the in winter time? Genie, they live in the sun. What they are doing there? You're mine. You people call them. Uh, you people call them uh, demons. But you know about you? You forgot that Allah is in the Quran. You people of human and genie. You wish to pass the zone of the earth, but you cannot pass the. So Allah is saying that genie and the human they live only in the ground, in the earth. And here we go again. Allah is proving to us that he is an ignorant and he is a liar because he is saying to us the human and the genie they cannot leave the zone of the earth. You know, no, you are proving to us that you are ignorant. <laughs> okay, okay, you. Listen, I will give you the mic, I see, just wait. Hey, you. Allah in the Quran said, if someone try to pass the zone of the earth, Allah will shoot him by stars. Is that true? No, my. No, Allah never said that. Allah never said that. Allah doesn't speak English. He didn't reveal anything in English, my friend. <laughs> well, you know what? You're right. Allah don't speak English because he's ignorant. He's an Arab boy. You are absolutely correct in this one. He have no idea what English is. Now, in chapter 67, verse number 5, it says, we decorated the lowest heaven with lamps, which they are the stars, right? And we made them as missiles to drive the evil ones. So if the genie tried to go out of the zone of the earth, Allah will shoot the genie in his butt by a star. You know what? How big is the butt of genie? Allah is shooting a genie by a star in his butt, and the genie he lives in the earth? Like, how you can shoot somebody he lives in the earth by a star without destroying the earth? Your mind. You never seen a shooting star, my friend? With the verse in the front of you, man. Don't you see it? Who want the link? This is the link. Open the link if you want to save it in your reference, guys. Please, everybody, guys, when I post something, save it in your reference because they don't ask me for it in a PM. Okay? This is the verse in the front of you. I'm not the one saying that. He's talking about decoration of the lowest heaven by lamps. Lamps are the stars. And he made those lamps as missiles to shoot. The evil one, who they are, the Satan. Where the Satan live in the earth, your mind. 